Hello, my fellow artists. Welcome to Art Class with me, Felicia. I'll be teaching you about different 20th century modern and contemporary artists. Today, we are learning all about Pat Steer. She was born in Newark, New Jersey in 1940. She has lived and worked for most of her life in New York City, where she currently resides. The style of art that Steer is known for is contemporary art. Okay, so let's discuss the term contemporary art really quickly. It's something I say a lot, and it just means art that is being made now or in the relatively recent past. And it differs depending on who you're talking to, but art that is made within the last 10 years is considered contemporary art. So Pat Steer is an artist of this time. She is still working and creating art to this day. So let's learn a little bit about her. Steer is an American painter and printmaker. Her early work was loosely associated with conceptual art and minimalism. She is best known for her abstract dripped, splashed, and poured waterfall paintings, which she started in the 1980s. Steer was influenced by the composer John Cage and the artist Agnes Martin, who both used the element of chance in their work. Steer began embracing this principle in her artwork by creating art using dripped, splashed, or poured paint on the canvas. Steer was also inspired by the 8th and 9th century Chinese Yupin ink splashing painters. She describes her art to have a connection with nature and humanity. Steer has collections of her work represented in many museums around the globe, including the Metropolitan Museum of Art, and the Museum of Modern Art in New York, and the Tate Gallery in London. Okay, so now that we've learned all about Pat Steer, let's answer a few questions about her. First question, where was Pat Steer born? Was it Newark, New Jersey, or Miami, Florida? If you said Newark, New Jersey, you would be correct. Nice job. Second question, Steer's paintings look like waterfalls or people. Steer's paintings look like waterfalls. That was your answer, nice work. Third question, how does Steer create her paintings? By carefully applying paint with a brush or pouring paint on the canvas? If you said pouring paint on the canvas, nice work, great job. Okay, so great job reviewing everything we've learned about Pat Steer. Now we're going to make some art inspired by her. First, I'll show you the instruction sheet and then you'll view a demo on how to make the project. Also, the instructions and materials needed are listed in the bio. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so this is the project demo for the Pat Steer inspired artwork. So what you're gonna need for this one is a couple things. You need a cookie tray, like a cookie sheet, or just something that has edges on it. You're gonna need some tape, some food coloring, some straws. All right, and if you don't have any of these supplies to complete the project this way, that's okay. There's also a coloring page that you can use. You can fill this in um, with whatever colors you choose, okay, to do Pet Steer's color wheel from 2019. So that is an option if you don't have this. So I'm gonna show you how to make the project this way with the food coloring. Um, so first things first, you gotta put your white piece of paper down on your cookie sheet and you're gonna tape it down so it stays in place, all right? So that is the first step. And just gonna put a nice piece of tape there. And a piece of tape here, okay. Next step, you are going to choose a color. I'm going to do blue. 
and you are going to put just a few drops of color along the um, bottom edge here, okay? And remember, Pat Steer did her, her painting was random. She just poured the painting on and then made what looked like waterfalls. So we're gonna do that as well. So we're just gonna put some food coloring along the top here. I made like a little line, which is kind of fun. And I'm going to tilt my cookie sheet, Let's see if I can get um, some drips, or I'm going to use a straw to do, get that same effect. All right, and so that is it for the Pat Steer inspired artwork, okay? So you can see that it's just random drips of the color coming down the page, kind of gives you that nice waterfall effect that you get from a Pat Steer painting. All right, so I'll see you next time.